your camping season doesn't have to end. Hey everybody, this is Mike with RV Blogger in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. Today we're going to be talking about air skirts, which is a way of skirting your RV, which allows you to be more comfortable in your RV in the heat of the summer, but also in the chilly temperatures in winter time as well. Now, if you've heard of air skirts before, and you're familiar with it, you probably know that they work on travel trailers, but did you also know that you can install air skirts on fifth wheels as well? And that's what we're gonna be doing today is we got a set of air skirts for this fifth wheel and we're gonna show you how easy it is to go ahead and install these skirts around a fifth wheel. Now, if you're not familiar with air skirts or even skirting at all, skirting is what you do to your RV so you can keep cold air from going under your RV in the winter time and your pipes and your tanks all get cold and maybe even frozen. But when cold air goes under your RV in the winter time, it also makes inside your coach colder. And so skirting is a way to sort of insulate under your RV so you can keep it warmer in the winter and even cooler in the summer. Now there are various ways that you can go about skirting your RV. And if you wanna see all the different ways with a very full and complete explanation, stick around till the end of this video and we'll show you how to hop over to our other video where we really go into detail on all the different skirting methods and why air skirts is the best. But for this video, we just wanna show you how you can get them and install them on your fifth wheel. And so without any further ado, let's get started installing our air skirts on our fifth wheel. All right, so it took us about 20 minutes to unbox everything and then figure out where all the tubes go underneath of our fifth wheel. But as you can see, we have them all laid out all around the perimeter. And now we're gonna go ahead and inflate them and then we'll make any adjustments that we need to make to make sure they're all positioned correctly and then we should be in good shape. So these air skirts are super easy to blow up. It, they all come with this really super high power pump that blows them up pretty fast and all you do is attach this end inside of this port and this can also let the air out but right now we're just going to put it in plug it in and turn it on and blow it up. And before I forget again, uh, stick around till the end of the video because we have a really great discount code that we can offer you if you're interested in air skirts. But anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and blow it up. Air skirts also come with some add-ons that you can get with your skirt kit, like these triangle pillows. And these go, if you have tango, uh, tandem axles, in between the axles, and they would just fit right in. You have one for up top, and then another one down below. Obviously, you have to put them into place deflated and then inflate them in place, but it helps to block these big gaps uh, of air from being able to blow underneath of your fifth wheel quick on the trigger with that one. Yeah, you Turn ready? Off. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Don't worry if you ever over inflate any of the pontoons or pillows. All you have to do is push this button and it lets the air right out. All right, so as you can see, we got all of our air skirts inflated all around the perimeter of this fifth wheel. And it only took like 15 minutes to blow them up once we had them in place. It actually took longer for us to get them all in the proper place. And so what I recommend is once you get them blown up around your fifth wheel, I would take a permanent marker, go around and number them all and make a little diagram for myself. So next time you have to set them up, it's really, really very, very simple to do. Now, speaking of setting them up again, another great feature with air skirts is they're very easy to deflate. They fit right into the carry bags that come included with your air skirts kit. And so if you travel from location to location through the winter months, 
It's very easy to deflate your air skirts, put them in their carry bags, throw them on board, go to your next campsite, pull them out, and reset them up. So they're really fantastic. They're very portable. Same thing is true in the summertime. If you're camping in the desert and you want to uh, run your AC less often to keep your coach cold, you can use your air skirts during hot weather too. But the point is, they're very easy to set up and deflate, and you can use them in many, many different locations. So when it comes to deflating these pontoons, it's really simple. All you do is take the high-powered uh, inflator, pull the nozzle out, put it on the other side, and now instead of pumping up the pontoons, it'll deflate the pontoons. So it's really simple. Just do that. Don't turn it on until you're ready, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Pop it in there. Wow, it's pretty wild to watch it go it all the way down. Pretty crazy. See, honey, you can fold a fitted sheet. <laughs> no, I cannot. So we got all of our air skirts deflated, folded up, put into these two bags. But I got to tell you, it's really hard getting them into the bags. They have to fit just right. So it took me a while to finagle them in there. So what I would recommend is buy an extra bag when you buy your air skirts. And that way, for two reasons. Number one, the skirts will fit in the bags easier. And then also, number two, each bag will be lighter because they are pretty heavy. I have to say, they are such heavy gauge PVC that they're made from that they are quite heavy indeed. So I would just get a third bag and then that'll lighten all three of them up, make it much easier for everything to fit and you are good to go. Now, if you'd like to learn even more details about RV skirting, RV skirts in particular, and see us do our temperature tests that we did on our Class C RV with our air skirts, then just click the box on your screen and we'll see you in the next video.